21st century man from his perspective. We are back and we are glad you're tuned in. Welcome to the 21st century man from his perspective. And we are talking about the man himself and issues surrounding the man. We would like to appreciate the fact that you've been with us through each of the episodes. And if you're tuning in for the first time, welcome. You will be blessed. century man from his perspective with me on the show today is my good friend pastor solomon ogutu mm. and my brother jared okelo these are men who are able to share with you wonderful insights on the 21st century man but before we talk about the 21st century man we would like to spend a few minutes and hear what is the word on the streets concerning the 21st century man Okay, of course, every okay, I have ever rejected a man. I accept, I expect him to handle it in his private room where he's going to cry, but bounce back from that rejection, don't stay in that state forever. So, rejection is part of life, it's normal. Everyone at one point in life has been rejected, so it's what matters is how you bounce back, how you handle it maturely. Rejection can occur in life in various forms. You can be rejected by friends, family, church members. So how to deal with that rejection? First, accept that you have been rejected. Work on the shortfall, the rather the reason as to why you have been rejected. As you work on the reason as to why you have been rejected, you need to self-evaluate and understand, look at yourself from the view of the sight of the person who has caused the rejection. Be it your spouse, a girlfriend, family member, church members, work, uh, work colleagues. Then, as you work on the shortfall, be accommodative that you may become a better person and that the rejection should project you to a higher trajectory than how you were before the rejection took place. Uh, you can be rejected in a community of colleagues. You can be rejected in a job situation when you apply for a job. And of course, you can be rejected by a loved one when you are extending your brotherly hand so that you are given an opportunity or a chance for that matter to try. 21st century man, from his perspective. Welcome back from the streets. Isaiah chapter 53, reading from verses. Which one do I start with? One, let's start from verses one. It says, who has believed our report? Or to whom is the hand of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor comeliness. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. We hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Rejected man. I, I, I see something again in the book of John, um, we, we, which I also find interesting. In, in John chapter 1, and when, when you look at John chapter 1, John chapter 1 is, a, is an interesting read. We've always talked about it. John 1, 1 in the beginning was a word. But today I'm going to John 1, 10. He was in the world. The world was made by him. The world knew him not. He came to his own and his own received him not. Talk to me. Is the 21st century man rejected like our savior? <laughs> He's seriously rejected. Wow. From all fronts. With everything which happens around. 21st century man, because of the demands and the needs of the world, he is rejected. Who has rejected Socially, him? physically, even spiritually, not to mention emotionally. 
is a rejected man. Wow. Jared. Yes. Do you concur with my brother? He says the 21st century man is a rejected man. In almost every front, he's trying his best, but he faces rejection. You know, now I was trying listening as you're reading about the accounts of Christ himself being rejected. Mm -hmm. but, but Paul brings also some other aspect of people who are not Christians being rejected. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is where I, I also... Why? <laughs> no, 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 I, I, I'm the bringing man, something. The man, the, the man Pro, from Texas. From, <laughs> <laughs> from the book of Romans, chapter 11, yes. Paul talks about Gentiles. And mm. he says they were also rejected. Mm. And, and I try to concur with him, the 21st century man, also springing from the aspect of what you read in Christ, what Paul talks about the Gentiles, and what pastors just mentioned, is facing a lot of rejection. But by the way, they get rejected from as long as uh, they are small boys when they send letters to girls to ask for relationship issues. Uh, and now, then what they get now is, now a, you're talking. is a no. I, I needed yes. practical, yeah. practical examples. That's the thing. That's How the are thing. they rejected? They write letters, they're rejected. It, you know, look, I, I remember these, uh, mm. I mean, form two. Yes. You know, you don't have uh, a lot of other beautiful English that is there. Then someone has this nice... 200 page exercise book with full of letters yes. and then I choose one mm -hmm. and, and I pick it and I give one of my friends who has the best handwriting to do it for me mm -hmm. and then it is sent you know and you know we're using the post office to send this yes. thing so it takes quite some time two weeks to go two weeks to and go two weeks and two to weeks come. to come back yes. and then on Friday they are there reading letters mm -hmm. uh, and then you find you know a, a nice letter done but with the, nothing written on it and when you open up the following page you find a big no Wow. Rejection. Rejection. Yes. Rejection is real. It's real. This thing is happening. In, in oh, no, no, no. You, you, you're talking of Form 2. You don't look like a Form 2 student. <laughs> Let's talk present. Let's talk present. <laughs> we, we don't have poster and we don't have all, 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 all the mails and taking two weeks. I, I, is it possible that the 21st century man is writing SMSs and, and, and the SMSs are rejected? So many of them. And I like... As much as you want to tell him not to go to form two, mm -hmm. but but this thing it starts from there. You're saying and it, it th comes. Th this thing started a long time. It started. It. I, I remember even my case. Mm -hmm. I, I think we were some of the people who were really enjoying writing letters, mm -hmm. and then at the back you write bombasticated to, mm -hmm. uh, shove it to, mm -hmm. and those words they are heavy, and the way you've described the feeling within yourself, mm -hmm. you expect something good. But what comes out, you have to miss one lesson. Rejection. So right now, the time we are living, mm -hmm. we send SMSs. The man outside there will do an SMS. And nowadays, they have even emojis. You have yeah. the emojis, <laughs> that emojis placed there with the heart <laughs> beating, <laughs> so, yes. beating so fast. Yes. But the one which comes back is somebody holding his chin. Oof. Because he's wondering which type of a heart is this. When you get that one back, you are finished. Talk of this man yes. trying to provide for his family, mm -hmm. looking for a job in the current generation. Mm -hmm. I run some small farm, mm. and each and every single day you find on your email, my CV, my application letter, mm -hmm. kindly consider me. Mm -hmm. what, what do I do with the limited chances that I have? I, I send back a short message, thank you for contacting us. But we are sorry, we'll get back to you when we have an opportunity. Rejection. That is rejection. Rejection. In scramble and partition for limited resources. Resources. Yes. That's rejection. The reality is the 21st century man is facing rejection. We, we, we are not even questioning it. I, I, I talk to this elder. Mm -hmm. we, we are in a week of prayer. Yes. And, and we are making our prayer requests. And then, then they make this general prayer. You know, he tells the lady of the house, uh, mm. please do, do on the behalf of the family. Mm. Then after all the prayers are done, as we're just about to leave the house, he pulls me aside. And, and he tells me, you know, I, I don't feel home here. Wow. I don't feel home here. Home is not home. Please, as you're going, pray for me. This place you have come from is not home anymore. The other day I was in, in wow. Kindu, and one... One student comes to me and tells me, Pastor, I have a problem that uh, I've tried to bond with my friends, but each and every day I try, that is the more they continue disliking me. 
I try even to associate and even give some people presents, but they don't appreciate. They see me as an enemy. That boy is under rejection. Another one comes to me and tells me, uh, Pastor, I I'm in love. There's this lady I love so much. But each and every moment I show my love, she will either shout at me or she'll leave me alone. Go to other men. Pastor, am I ugly? That's a gentleman wow. talking. Rejection. Rejection. And, 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 and you see, just as you're saying, you see, the, the, the moment you're rejected, you start wondering within yourself, are there inadequacies that have made me to be rejected? You, you, you're talking of um, work. And, and, and at the workplace, you, you've done your CV, you've, mm -hmm. you, you, you've even gone to a CV coach. They've told you put this kind of word, which employers are looking for this kind of words. Mm -hmm. and, and you've put the right kind of English. Mm -hmm. But still at the end of the day, uh, we, we will consider you when there's another opportunity. What you're bringing, I can liken it. <laughs> so we can liken it so closely with Jared. Mm -hmm. There are moments when we walked. There are moments we talked. Mm -hmm. There are moments we knocked doors just for me to get something. With a CV which is well written. Mm -hmm. At times I write it and give it to <laughs> Dr. Ari here to, to go and check. To see, is it, is it good? And tell me, Solomon, this one is now good. They tell you, add another thing. You come back and add it. If there's any professional course, go do it. Come and add it. But you still get, we are sorry. Uh, but, but, but now, if, even as you, you, you're sharing on this, does rejection mean I am inadequate? You know, that is now what we need to battle with because the immediate instinct that gets to your mind is inadequacy. The, this concept of uh, this gentleman I was telling you about uh, during that week of prayer, mm -hmm. uh, he was feeling like he's not a man anymore. In fact, uh, some of the things that he was uh, going through in that particular family, it made him even go ahead, look for a doctor. He was even telling me, let me make this very plain uh, because we're not even mentioning names over here. Mm -hmm. But that this guy walks into a doctor to look for, 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 for medicine that can be able to create and make his manhood stand at the end of the day. So he feels inadequate. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and later, as, as I followed up this to be able, because he opened up and he was sharing, in finer details, he wasn't given. The, the doctor told him, man, probably this is a thing of something happening in your mind. Could you be able to relook again? Because it's you're mind not. It, it's a mind thought. <coughs> so, so take even his example that he has mentioned. You know, you look at yourself and you ask yourself, what is wrong? Is my CV not captured well? Didn't I get to the right class? Mm -hmm. Didn't I get those honors that people are given? Mm -hmm. Those GPS that people are having? Yes. Then what am I lacking at the end of the day? So you find people who are depressed. I, I was watching the other day someone posting on, uh, on this uh, WhatsApp status. Yes. A, a gentleman, a, a very big guy. You know, you see, you've, you've seen those, um, are they called what? Those, um, those things that are placed, placed on the side paths where to, uh, to prevent vehicles from hitting pedestrians. Yes. Yeah, so that guy is jumping on them. Jumping on them. A, a couple of them. And a big man. And you wonder, as a small boy, what, what goes in his mind? You know. So, so someone feels he is not adequate enough when he's rejected. Rejection brings a feeling of inadequacy. Yes. That is what we are basically saying. Mm. And, 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 and the moment this happens, let me give you another rejected man. You know, it, it seems like men have faced rejection so many times. And, and, and it's not the first time that men are facing this. Go to my friend Joseph mm -hmm. in the Bible. Mm -hmm. What happens to Joseph? Joseph is loved by the father, is rejected not even by strangers now. Is rejected by family. Mm -hmm. What happens when you are rejected by family? Uh, before we even go to the idea of family, when you feel rejected and the idea of inadequacy gets in, mm -hmm. it will lower your self-esteem. You become like a social misfit. Mm -hmm. Because it gets into your brain and you believe that you don't fit in the society. Wow. There's a danger with that if the master doesn't get in you. It gets, or rather it brings the idea of depression. And when depression gets in, you know the end result. You're almost making if me it is wonder. Not, it, if it is not sorted out, 
six feet under. What I'm wondering right now, as you're speaking, is could it be part of the reason why uh, the man who was rejected, Jesus himself, he understands rejection. He understands. That is why he speaks. Did, did, did he feel inadequate to the extent he said, now if I came to save these ones, they've rejected me. I am not fit as a savior. Let me go repair myself and come then as a good savior. Let me give you this and you can also help. Jared can also come forth and help. It is not about the inadequacy, but you realize that even Christ himself, when he realized and felt that rejection, even from the Father himself, he cried and said, My Father, my Father, why hast thou, thou forsaken me? But, 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 he uh, felt but, it. But, but, but getting, getting to what uh, uh, Andrew is asking, did Christ have to feel like, Yes, I, I'm not enough. Let me go back and come back a better savior. Package myself. Let me repackage myself. I, I, over and over again, and I like this phrase that he made mention while he was dying. Father, forgive them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For they know not what they do. Yes. They don't have an experience of whatever it is that they're rejecting. I'm not going to repackage myself. And, and mm. In fact, we, Pastor, we talk about self-esteem. But we talk about someone now who has gone through the full throttle. Yes. Hebrew now mentions that he was tried the way we are tried. Yes. And, and he has overcome. Tempted in all ways, like, in as all ways like as we Yet are. without sin. Yet without sin. Mm -hmm. That means he has gone through that rejection process, looked at himself and says, no, it is not my methods. It is not my salvation ability. They are the ones who does not know the value of that which they are Wait. rejecting. Andrew, can, uh, I, can I then say, uh, can huh. I then say, he also understood the mission which brought to him here. That, and, and, that is and, why, and that, that is why as mission. much as much as the idea of him sticking to the, let me call it the script, him sticking to the script, he understood mm. what he wanted to accomplish. Regardless of the rejection, these people don't take charge. They've not, they, they refuse to take charge. They've refused to acknowledge that which is bringing for them joy. They've refused to come forth and taste mm -hmm. for them to really feel what this person is all about. I think merging the two together, mm -hmm. we are simply packaging it that mm -hmm. rejection makes you think you are not worthy. Mm -hmm. It makes you think you are valueless. Mm -hmm. But when you look at it from a clear perspective, understand your worth, understand your mission, understand your value, then now when you are rejected, you tend to think of it from the perspective of you don't know what you are rejecting. That's mm. the thing. Mm. That is, and, and that is now the answer of what will now answer his problem, that rejection causes depression. So the solution to the depression is understanding your value. Wow. I, I like a concept when someone... No, 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 the, 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 the point is too heavy. The point is too heavy. I, I want us to synthesize it. Yes. Let's take a short break so that we just synthesize this, that you need to understand mm -hmm. your value. Mm. We'll be back shortly as we synthesize on understand your value. 21st century man, from his perspective... The smile on my face as I watched her walk down the aisle. I knew this was the beginning of my happy ever after. We would play like little children who have endless energy. He made me laugh <laughs> every single day. Oh, what bliss. She suddenly had too many complaints. He just started doing everything wrong. I couldn't stand him. It was too much. When issues start trickling in your family, who do you turn to? What do you do? Watch this brand new season of Family Times. Join the different families on set as they share their experiences of how God has kept them together through it all.
picture. Uh, <laughs> 21st century man, from his perspective. Welcome back. After the short break, we are still on the 21st century man, from his perspective. This show is talking about real issues affecting this man. And today we are talking about rejection. Have you ever been rejected? What does rejection make you feel? And, and before we went for the break, we we're just talking of understanding your value. Rejection should not make you feel worthless. And, and, and when you are rejected, it's also good to make people understand. Like, like I was saying and, and, and sharing with some friends, I was saying that, you know, when um, you are a man and you're single, the lady is not doing you a favor by getting into a relationship with you. Neither are you doing that lady a favor by getting into a relationship with her. Because the moment you are not in that relationship, she's single. So if, if, if you are rejected by one lady, it should not make you start thinking that all of a sudden it's not that you're beautiful. What if she has an eye problem? What if she did not just see well? You know, no, 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 no. <coughs> what you're mentioning is very interesting. I walk into a shop in Mombasa. Yes. I've been given some little uh, per DM for my trip there. Yes. Then I'm looking for some open shoe. Then I walk into this shop and I find an open shoe and they're telling me the price. You know, you look at the tag and the tag is 5,000 and something. Mm. And I say, this is an open shoe, 5,000 and something. Then I, I drop it nicely. Then I mm. say, I will come back. Mm. But, but as I walk slightly, Someone passes by me, mm -hmm. and I stop to see if uh, a normal man buys from this shop. And the guy walks and he gets and to normal. the same open shoe, normal person, yes. and, and he asks, and says, is there number nine? You know, he's not worried. Wow. So, 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 so when someone rejects you, yeah, you rejected the open shoe. I rejected the open shoe because probably of my own in in inadequacies, as you're saying, the lady might be, be, be lying. <laughs> so I, I don't have cash enough to yeah. buy that particular thing. So at times you are rejected, and the person who rejects you does not know your value. And uh, let, let me just read this wow. from Isaiah. Wow, wow. Isaiah 43 says this, mm. from verses 1. Mm. Let me read from this message uh, version of the Bible. It says, mm. but now, God's message, the God who made you in the first place, Jacob, Mm -hmm. The one who got you started, Israel. Mm -hmm. Do not be afraid. Mm -hmm. I've redeemed you. Mm -hmm. I've called your name. Wow. You are mine. And, and look at what, what wow. he says. He says, down towards verse 4, he says, I paid a huge price for you. So look at the price now Paul he says. say that you are bought with a price. a price. But now look at the price he mentions. Mm -hmm. All of Egypt with rich Kush mm -hmm. and Sheba thrown in. Mm -hmm. That is how much you mean to me. That is how much I love you. And listen to the last part. I'd sell off the whole world to get you back. Tread the creation just for you. Listen to that. So, so, so that means if someone, like let's say, the pastor is very rich, a rich man. Yes. If pastor was rich in the context that he could buy the whole world, yes. creation, and I'm the one being treated in respect to creation, mm -hmm. God would sell the creation to pastor so that he can buy me back. Look at that. So you see my value. So when someone now rejects me, whenever I face whatever now we call rejection, I get back into understanding they don't know what they're losing. But I'm saying something. Who determines the price of something in stock? Listen, when Mercedes-Benz manufacture the vehicle, they don't say that this vehicle can be sold at any price. Mm -hmm. the, the, the manufacturer determines that ah. it has costed me so much. This is the value of this. And, and, and so you see, at the end of the day, uh, I am coming to buy and I can say, how do you buy a vehicle at that price? But you see, the creator who fashioned you knows your value. And so the, the, the other people who are not there when you're being fashioned can look at you and say, no, I, I can't spend so much on this. I know Pastor is eager to speak, but, uh, but, 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 you're, but you're making it so interesting. You're making it so interesting. And let, me, let, let me not, let, get, no, let me not make that. Uh, there's a, a concept he has brought. Eh? Uh -huh. 
which now answers all our problems in all aspects of rejection. You talked about people being rejected in families. Yes. Mm. You talked about peers being rejected among us, their peers. Mm. They are men who are being rejected among us, their men. Yes. They cannot trade with their fellow men. They cannot walk where the other fellow men are walking. Mm -hmm. You're talking about being rejected in your places of work. There are people who are left out, you know, whenever their main names are mentioned, people run away from their projects. So we mm -hmm. face rejection all over. But you have mentioned something. The moment I understand the person who values me. That's it. That's it. That's the punching point. Uh, before you reach the person who values you, mm -hmm. you have just to go back <clears throat> to Genesis. Mm -hmm. When this person calls for a meeting, let us make. create or make man, man in our own image. image and likeness. There's a kind of ownership which is getting in. Mm -hmm. So which means if this man they've created in their own image stumbles and falls, wow. they have every single reason, even if it is about selling the whole world, to bring back this image, mm -hmm. they will have to do it. That is why he said he loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, begotten that whosoever son. believeth should not perish. Which means as much as you will feel that rejection, but him who took everything to create you has got a meaning for everything. The 21st century the 21st man century must century understand his must value. Underst yes. Uh, At the same time, mm -hmm. I come to this. What about when you are being rejected when somebody understands that this one, we have to bring him down? Uh, How uh, do you deal with that? I, I don't know as Andrew prepares on that, but there was something you mentioned about Joseph. I know this, this mm. is coming up, mm -hmm. and, and we'll get back to Joseph. Mm -hmm. But let me also bring this point, we, we, so that we also don't forget this. And I also want, don't want to forget my thought pattern. There are times, let us also make it very true, we are rejected because of what we have done. Because wow. of the way we have presented ourselves. Wow. Because of what he has just mentioned, sin. So at, at, at times you are rejected because you presented yourself as being worthless. Yes. If, 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 if you understand your value, you, you, you know before you brought in that concept, I, I wish you had given me time to say this. Now that you brought in that concept, it's almost breaking it. But remember, mm -hmm. I am fearfully and, and, wonderfully, and wonderfully made. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> when, when the psalmist says that, mm -hmm. he says, I am valuable. Mm -hmm. Now, when he says I am valuable, you see... And, 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 and I am an automobiles person, so you, you'll always hear me giving examples. I love vehicles. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong loving vehicles. It moves <laughs> us from point A to point B. But, but, but you see, I also love good vehicles. But oh, when you, you only love vehicles, you love good, good vehicles. vehicles. You just say you love good vehicles. Why yes. are you not starting <laughs> with that particular point? <laughs> but no. it's fine. I'm, 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 I'm a 21st century, century man anyway. Yes. Yeah. Now, all, all men love vehicles. That's why boys have toys. But anyway, <laughs> you, you, you see what happens is good vehicles, when you have a good vehicle, mm -hmm. and then you, the, the terrain is pathetic, but, but, but you have a nice, sleek vehicle. Mm -hmm. Even when you're driving it, you're careful. Mm -hmm. You don't just jump anyhow. And, the, and, 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 the, and because the description you, you he's giving yeah. makes you just even imagine the, <laughs> the way vehicle. the vehicle itself and the way he drives on the highway. No, no, no. <laughs> but, 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 but you see what happens is when the road is bumpy and you know your vehicle is low profile, you, you, you are very careful. In fact, you don't even want to give it to somebody else to drive it in that place because you're like, they'll scratch. And, and you know the way when, when a precious vehicle <laughs> scratches on, on some stone? <laughs> As, as, as in, <laughs> you, mind you of my vehicle, eh? <laughs> you almost feel like it, it, it is your own body that is scratching along that place. <clears throat> now, because of value, worth you attach to it. Now, come to think of it, when, when you're talking of uh, doing things that end up being bad and you're being rejected, uh, do, 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 do we even have an idea of what the creator feels when the 21st century man goes to demean his value? And, and, and at times, you see, you are even rejected because of you've demeaned your value. But I love one thing. There is somebody who doesn't reject you. The person who made you, you, you see, the mechanic does not reject a scratched vehicle. The mechanic tries to get you back where the manufacturer was putting you. Mm. 
I, I don't know why you are getting into my thought pattern. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when the vehicle is crashed, that means there could be a problem. There are sin. You have uh, fallen. All uh -huh. of us have fallen and fallen, fallen short, short of, of God's, God's, glory. God's glory. And, mm. and it's true. And, and people might reject you because of that. No one might want to identify you in their singing group. No man may want to see you in their armor um, men. Uh, no, let's know. not talk of fallen. Let's yeah. be practical. Say mm. you are fallen in what way? How, how can a man, a 21st century man, fall and then face rejection? What are some of the things that he may have done? But there are things mentioned in the Bible. You might be fined uh, with some peer pressure. You've gotten into drinking mm -hmm. because of uh, a few other issues that probably are underlying factors. You might have fallen you being unfaithful. You, you know, unfaithful. To you and you've stolen something. You've mm. taken some bribe. Mm. You, you, you are out there. I want to, I want so, to get you out from that thought. Part, no, part what part. I, and I want to be, uh, before you get us out, let me <laughs> just make mention. Sure. Let, <laughs> let me make this very finish. clear. Let me, <laughs> yes. let me finish this very clear. Your vehicle scratched. Mm -hmm you don't reject your vehicle. Other people wow. might pass by and see the vehicle as worthless because of the scratch, wow. because it has hit, probably the oil is flowing down and other things. But you who is the owner does not reject it. Wow. So, so whenever we face rejection because of the underlying things that we have found ourselves into, mm -hmm. let us remember our owner. The owner has, has rejected not rejected you. us. Mm. And that's why wow. he says, and this is the thought pattern I was closing, so that mm. we get into where you want to close us in. But remember his Joseph's story. It's still yes. coming up. Yeah. God says, Isaiah 43, I'm still reading, verse 25. He says, but yes, I am the one who takes care of your sins. That's what I do. I don't keep a list of them. Wow. That's serious. Powerful. That's serious. We go back in to, fact, yeah. that's almost like what I... What I had uh, Job say somewhere, and, and, and you know Job, Job is also another wonderful read. And, and, and when you hear Job talk about uh, uh, God talking in Job, and, and, and God makes it that he does not give, he does not give an account. Mm -hmm. He's not going to be called, and, and, and nobody can ask him, what is this that you've done? Mm -hmm. Because I am the God who is in charge. When I make, when I do things, I do things in a perfect way. And, and, and you see, when, when he's saying that, he means that somebody can question about you, but he can be able to make things fine for you. Mm -hmm. You've just come to Joseph, as, 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 as you still flip your pages, uh, it gets me back to Joseph, rejected by the brothers, rejected by everyone. Did God reject him? The Bible makes a very good account that God was with him ah. all throughout uh, in fact, you, you pick the word I like picking when I'm preaching, that yeah. God was with him. Are you rejected? Check again, is God with you? Mm -hmm. If you are rejected and God is with you, mm -hmm. we may be getting somewhere. Yes. You know, it is so tough to handle rejection mm. such that you need the person who can walk with you throughout. Mm -hmm. Because he can repackage you. Mm -hmm. They rejected Joseph a few chapters afterwards, they are coming to bow down before Joseph. Mm -hmm. What changed? Nothing changed because God was with him. That is the underlying factor. And when God is with you, then these other people who rejected you now begin to appreciate your value. That's so it. what happens? They get back to you. So when the brothers come back, uh -huh. they realize this guy is valuable. Mm -hmm. And, and, and let's not leave Joseph without forgetting the place whereby in Genesis, I think it's chapter 50, mm -hmm. the final place, mm. they come saying this guy will revenge. Yes. Why do you revenge on just those who reject you? Before we revenge, I'll take you back to 37. Eight. Yes. That is Genesis, uh, verses 25. Yes. <clears throat> and they sat down to eat bread. Mm -hmm. And they lifted up their eyes and looked, and behold, a company of Ishmaelites came from Gilead with their camels bearing spires and balm and mir, going to carry it down to Egypt. Mm -hmm. 26. Mm -hmm. And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Mm -hmm. Come and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites and let not our hand be upon him. For he is our brother mm -hmm. and our flesh. Mm -hmm. And his brethren were content. That is what I was speaking. Mm -hmm. There's a point in time that the family 
and the ones around you will reject and never recognize your worth. Mm -hmm. But there's this one single individual. That person will see your worth from a distance. Regardless of the kind of display you presented. Ah. You, regardless you, you, of the you're way give, you are. You're giving are. us hope. Sorry for interjecting you as, as, as you're still synthesizing it. You're giving us hope that you, you don't even need to think that it's only God who can see your worth. That is true. When you are rejected. That is true. There is also another human being. There's another who human is being. somewhere and he's seeing your worth and he's seeing that you are very worth. Finish your point. That is what I was bringing forth. You can walk into an interview. Mm -hmm. You've walked to almost 30 interviews. Yes. And all of them don't see your worth. Sorry. 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 But there's one person who is following. Mm -hmm. Is following the trend on things the way they are. Because some of the stories might be just at the making of man. Mm -hmm. Because there's somebody who is preferred ahead of you. Mm -hmm. As much as you are, worth, you are worthy to take it. But this person is following. One day, one time, that person will come to stand to hold your hand once again. <coughs> I, I, and that I, is why I, I'm I, saying, I, as you come closer, mm -hmm. when God is saying that he was with Joseph, remember this one thing which he placed in him. He blessed the work of his hand. We are picking it from there. We are picking it from there. Let's take a short break. Can, can I split Let's just take a short okay. break? Okay. Yeah. And then we'll <laughs> pick it from there. Have the break. 21st century man, from his perspective. First century man from his perspective. Welcome back. It's getting heated. It's getting interesting. It's wonderful. The 21st century man is a show. And we are talking about the rejected man. And, and before we went for the break, we were, we were unpackaging Joseph. And you we were saying there's somebody who can see your worth even when you are rejected. Judah said and, it. And, 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 and if I heard you clearly, you're almost implying that. When every other lady doesn't see your worth, that's it. There's one lady who will see, see your worth from a distance and even, will remember you. Even if you have one trouser. If wow, uh, wow. But, talk about trousers. But let but me let me. I want to spiritualize this. There's something I want to I want to bring up. Eh? Before he, you spiritualize he, this, allow me to say a word yes. which Judas said. Mm -hmm. He said this and qualified who Joseph was. Mm -hmm. He is our flesh. Yes, sir. He is our brother. Mm -hmm. There are people who will never qualify that aspect in you. Mm -hmm. Regardless of the blood which you share, mm -hmm. regardless of the destiny which you might be sharing, regardless of the same gospel you're preaching, they will not recognize it. Uh, uh, but there's uh, one person who recognizes it. So let me let uh, now Andrew. spiritualize it. Yes, uh, Andrew. Yes. We're talking about a Judah here. Yes. Isn't this the same person that his lineage, Christ, came? Lion of the tribe of Judah. Of Judah. Mm -hmm. He's the one who sees people as brothers. Mm. Their own flesh. Wow. Can't we now then be, and not point out to a Judah, can you be that brother who sees wow. the best wow. in people who are rejected? Wow. Can you become a Judah? The 21st century the man. The 21st century we man. We are calling on a man who will be the brother. Yes. The one who not, does not long to bring people down. Yes. The, the one whom, despite other people facing rejection, you can still, in one way or the other, reach them. If you can't reach them, kneel down, bring them to the throne room of God's grace, intercede for them. No, no, no. You're bringing me to something. You're bringing me to something. And I don't like the way you provoke me to talk. 
You see, when I, when I look at the story of Joseph, the Lord was with him. The Lord was with him, but he's suffering rejection. He's rejected from his brethren. He comes to Potiphar's house. Situations happen. He has to go to prison. That's another rejection. He's in prison and he continues over there. The Lord is still with him. But remember, before he you said, go, before he you said go there, let me add you one. Even at the point when he felt he was supposed to be rescued, he still stayed for two years more. No, no, no. You, you're going ahead of me. You're going okay. ahead of me. Let me go back. And, 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 and when you look at it, <laughs> when you look at it, people have a dream. Mm -hmm. And she is helping people with their dreams. Mm -hmm. And yet him is rejected. Being still in remaining prison, in prison. Being in prison is a rejection. They are being released. The and society going. doesn't like you. Mm -hmm. He's remaining in prison. Mm -hmm. And he's feeling so bad. And, and, and he says, and let me tell you, when you're rejected, it doesn't mean you can't speak. Mm -hmm. If the Lord is with you, it doesn't mean you love prison. And, and that's why he says, when you get to a better place, remember me. Mm -hmm. He tells the butler that, remember me. Uh, the butler forgets him for two years. Forgets him completely yes. for two years, two solid years. Now, rejection can test you. You can feel like everyone has forgotten about you. Even your best friend whom you told, hey, when you get to that place, Remember tell me. them that I can do that job. That friend goes to that place and forgets that you can do the job. You've also added me something. In the point when you feel rejected, yes. that rejection is a, a lesson to you. And in the process when the rejection is still there, that rejection can be used to assist another person. Mm -hmm. Because when he felt rejected in Potiphar's house, and thrown inside the, the, the prison. Mm -hmm. He should have sat back and yeah. said, no, I cannot be of help. Yeah. But he came forth and said, you the cup bearer, you this one, please, this and this is what, what is going to happen. This is your dream. But when you go there, remember me. In his rejection, he still solves the problem of others. And after solving them the way you say, he still remains rejected. You're saying a big point before, Jared, you come in. Uh -huh. It's almost like you're saying that when you are rejected, don't start getting joy in seeing others being rejected. That's it. You, you know, most of the times, just because I was rejected, I'm excited that even you, you're you are rejected. rejected. Even you, you are rejected. Rejection, we are not looking for company in rejection. When you are rejected and you can be able to help somebody else, you know, in football, uh, and I think you, you, you know about football. In football, there's a guy I'm who never... I'm not mentioning my team. Yeah, this I'm one doesn't not, know anything I'm, about oh, football. No, 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 I'm not he mentioning my to team. Me. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, let me tell netball. you something. You can take in, him to in, netball. In, 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 yeah. football, <laughs> in football, they, they, there's one person who is never praised. They, they, they started lately talking about them, but he's the assist master. The guy who gives the final pass to the goal. The person who scores is normally glorified. But let me tell you, when you have spent time as a striker, like some of us, you know if somebody puts a skewed pass, you cannot be able to score. That is true. And, and you see, that, that, that's what I'm saying. When, even when you're rejected, spend time trying to help others. It will help you manage your rejection. Yes. And it, who, if, if Joseph had not helped the butler, let me, let Who me, may have talked about let it? Let me throw that quote that, that you just mentioned. When you are rejected, <coughs> spend time helping others so that you can also get better out of your rejection. Is it not wow. the same thing that uh, someone once said? Those who help others overcome, mm -hmm. them themselves, they become overcomers. Wow, that's profound. Say it again. Those, Those who help others overcome, they themselves become overcomers. Let me give wow. you, another, so, so, let me so, give you a, a good example. The son of God on the cross is suffering up there, suffering rejection, and even feeling that the father has also rejected him. But there's one person called the centurion who is standing, the Bible says he stood opposite Jesus, which means he was right in front of him. Out of the rejection of Jesus Christ on the cross, this centurion stood and said, this was truly the son of God. The rejection of Jesus has given a lesson to a man who was not even close to the ministry of Jesus Christ. No, no, no. no. Why are you making it so difficult? You know, I, I wanted to avoid uh, oscillating around Calvary. <laughs> but one of my best sermons is of the other thief. This other thief, if Jesus was not rejected, 
could he have been told, I tell you today, no. thou shalt be with me in paradise. That is how we now use rejection, how we use it. Jesus took it to the cross, that so, rejection. So, so you, are, you know you're making it more interesting now that whenever people reject me, I then get to disassociate myself from the question and I ask myself, who is God trying to help in my situation? Wow. Is there someone is seeing something out of what I am going through so that they can be able to learn? So that makes me be stronger through that rejection because I know it's a lesson plan for someone. But also we see that rejection should not make us hopeless. Uh -huh. We, 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 we should not think like it is done because I have been rejected. Rejection may be a face. And as we said, we, we, we talk about self-esteem, we talk about all that, but rejection should make us to reflect that I am worthy. And if there is something I have done wrong, because you've said there are two things that can lead to rejection. Either people don't understand my value or I have lowered my value. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and when you look at it like that, it means... Let me not think like I'm the ultimate answer to everyone's problem. Not everyone likes the fact that I am in blue. It's true. Blue is not everyone's favorite color. Mm -hmm. and, and let me tell you, the fact that it's not everyone's favorite color doesn't mean it is not a favorite color. You cannot argue with somebody and say that you know your best color should be pink. You can't. <clears throat> could it be, uh, probably as I throw in the spanner into the works, could there be better spiritual people who also reject other people not knowing their value. And I take an example of Paul, who rejected Mark mm -hmm. yeah, in his their ministry. Mm -hmm. Are there people, 21st century men, mm -hmm. who are rejecting people out there because they don't understand their value? And what better lessons can they learn from Paul who is just like us also? You know, you know that one is now, he's now putting it direct to us. Mm -hmm. And more so we who are pastors. Mm -hmm. You walk into a church. When you reach that church, you are in a church board and somebody has been brought. And you are quick to give a verdict about this individual. And the moment you give a verdict about him, remember you've interfered with the wife, you've interfered with the children and the generation to come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you handle that person? The problem can be, allow me not to say it, but I don't know how to put it. If tomorrow you find that this is the man who has found favor in the eyes of God, how will you do it? Paul of Tarsus, or Saul of Tarsus, is a man, a murderer, headed to Damascus. And along the way, he meets Christ. And out of it, he comes back and writes most of the New Testament books. We cannot understand how God uses people in their moments of rejection. But one thing which you said, we should not be hopeless. And get me then to the point, and I say now, there is this young man who is rejected because the seniors are busy with the things they're doing. There's some young man in the society right now, rejected by seniors who are busy. They have no mentors. We have rejected them because we are focusing on other things. And, and you see, the cry of the 21st century young man is, I, I need somebody who will not reject me. I, I, as I always say, here's a man who's been rejected by a girlfriend. He's been rejected by, uh, by, by the job market. He has all the papers, but he's been rejected. How do we help this person? Because you see, for me, what, what becomes so painful here is if they have nobody to talk to. This is what leads even to the suicides we are seeing right now. Yes. There are so many young people who are committing suicide. Why are they committing suicide? Because a girl said no. And, and, and I think if we get to the point of even making them understand, let's be practical. That's how I always like putting it. Let's be practical. I, 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 I know I, I, I can say I, I, somebody who looks at me right now may think, oh, you're saying this because you've never been rejected. Hey, there's a viewer who is looking at me and knew they rejected me. And they knew. And it's true. Are you sure? I, 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 no, it's, it's true. These are factual. 
We, we are human beings, uh -huh. tempted in all ways like as we are. There is no temptation that has come to you such that is not common to man. You are not the first one to be rejected. Tell we have all been rejected. Even myself, there are people are now listening, viewing us. And they know they also rejected me. And, and, the, the, and they said this one will not go anywhere. And you know what? The person who rejects you should not determine your destiny. <laughs> that is true. Very, very true. In fact, I, I, I'm not saying that you prosper so that they can realize your worth. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. Listen. Just say uh -huh. the truth. <laughs> we cannot run away from that. Mm. In Kiswahili, there's a song which says, Ombea dui waku, aishi siku nyingi. Hili unapo barikiwa, ajione kwa macho. Hapa, and I try to tell some adui. But what you're saying, what you're saying is, you, you, you see your worth as time goes by. There are certain even rough edges of your character. I, I can tell you, I, I, I used not to have even a, a, a proper sized suit in the, in the yester years. And, and, and there are people who rejected me for pathetic dressing. My, my, my wife bore along with me and started adjusting my shape and also the sizes of my, 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 my clothing. <laughs> <laughs> With the time now, I can be able to she perfectly fit. She has done a lot. She's done a lot. A lot. She's labored for the 21st century <laughs> man who was rejected by others. And, and right now, somebody may think that, hey, but you look sharp. Mm. But, but, but you see, all these things are made. All these things need time to it develop. It's a process. If, if I have rough edges of character that have made me to be rejected, by the way, what I think we should do, I, I, I like the way... Um, uh, S -s some people normally inform you even when you fail an interview. They explain to you these are your shortfalls. Then I go back and sit on it. <laughs> you, by the way, w w w when you're rejecting even a person <laughs> in, in matters relationship, why don't you just tell me, do, do, don't make me think I am the ugliest man on earth. Make me understand that, okay, according to what I was looking for in a candidate, you've not met the minimum requirement. Yes. There may be another person to whom you've met those minimum requirements. You see, <coughs> if you've been rejected because you are short, so what are you going to do? You cannot do anything. You put you on are a high short heels. man. You put on high heels. No. Okay. <coughs> the thing is, uh, and, 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 don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> quite, quite interesting that we, we are trying to look into then how do we deal with the issues of rejection? Yes. How do we see the good in people? I, I like the way you are looking at and the example you are trying to give. Can I be that Judah? who after an interview panel, I look at that CV mm -hmm. and I tell this man with his contact there, because I have his contact, yes. review his CV and I draft it again, redraft it for him. Wow. And I tell him, man, look at that CV. Wow. Can you use it in your next point of your seeking for a job? Wow. Can it help you? As wow. in, can I be that Judah who looks at the best in people who are rejected? Can I be who? the enabler? The enabler. Listen to how Paul looks at it in Christ eh, wow. as he writes to Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 1 mm. and verse 12 he says, I am so grateful to Christ Jesus for making me adequate to this work. Mm -hmm. He went out, out on a limp, you know, entrusting me with this ministry. The only credentials I brought to it were inventive and witch hunts and arrogance. Mm. But he says, but I was treated mercifully. Uh -huh. Because I didn't know what I was doing. Mm. Didn't know who I was doing it against. Mm -hmm. Grace mixed with faith and love poured over me and into me all because of Jesus. If we Amen. can give Amen. people Amen. grace can we mixed with, be faith? with faith, can we be like Jesus? That's why Paul now goes ahead and says, you know, you know that, that's why he points out and says, I am public chief, chief of sinners. Like the way they call yeah, you yes. chief, chief Andrew. Yes. He's saying chief down there, sinners. verses 15, I'm <laughs> the chief of sinners. I'm public sinner number one. I, I associate with this but, but God is now waving me mm -hmm. out there for everyone who is on the verge of breaking up because of rejection. Give a parting shot to the rejected man. The rejected man, I pick it from a song by a lady known as Linda Randall. He yes, says, Linda Randall. One day at a time, sweet Jesus. Yes. That's all I'm asking, asking. of you. Mm. Give me the strength to do everything, every day. every day, what I have to do. Yesterday is gone, sweet Jesus, and tomorrow may never be mine. Yes. Help me today. Show me the way. One day at, at a time. time. Mm. Teach me Re to take Re Rejection one day. is there. But Jesus, teach me to take one day at a time. Parting shot to the viewer.
it, it's quite interesting. And my parting shot now goes back into us being the man. Mm -hmm. Someone writes these interesting words and he says that, uh, can you be the person? Can you be the man that stands to other men who have fallen? Wow. Can you be the guy who gets into the ground, dustifies his hand the way God dustifies his hand to a man that has fallen? In as much as we are saying God was with Joseph, mm -hmm. God requires people to stand with him. In one of the songs they say, uh, God is looking for people that he can depend upon. I mean, May can the he Lord depend, depend, depend on you. On you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know why you finish with one of my best songs. And, 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 and just as you've said, Joseph finds himself in Egypt, a rejected man, but there is something that gives him hope. Mm -hmm. He finds favor with Potiphar. Mm -hmm. Joseph is rejected and goes to prison. Something gives him hope. Mm -hmm. He finds favor with the one in charge of prison. Mm -hmm. and, and Joseph still in prison and finds favor, even with the butler, who though he forgets, but the butler, and I like, at the appointed time, you know the story of the butler reminds me of something. Don't mm -hmm. give up. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. There is an appointed time yeah. that the mm -hmm. Lord has planned for the end of your rejection. Mm. And the fact that you are rejected, as long as you are not rejected of God. And, 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 and I like God when the Bible says, how can I give you up? You know, say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when talking about uh, the children of Israel, he says, how can I give you up? God does not give up on us. And I, I'm telling you, my dear viewer, as, as, as we go through challenges in this life, there are so many things that, as a 21st century man, you're going to face. And rejection comes at the top of the list. And, and you are going to feel like you're boxed out. But don't give up. Just know one thing. God has not given up on you. And the fact that he has not given up on you gives me hope that you can still be able to continue. You can still be able to pick up your pieces. Rejection should not make you lose your worth. Uh, Andrew, just a minute. In Isaiah, it says, if yes. a woman can forget the chi a child whom she gave birth to, yes. but myself, I will never forget you. I will you. never forget you. And, and that is where I am closing by saying there is hope for you if you feel rejected because what we want to now focus on is not the rejection, but your worth. We want to focus on what is your value. Man. Sit back mm. and remember that there is hope for you because you are valued by a savior. May the Lord bless you. And thank you for joining us for this show. We appreciate your feedback. The numbers are running down there. You can give us your feedback and welcome back to the next episode as we continue with this wonderful show, The 21st Century Man from His Perspective. Thank you. Mm -hmm.